Hi, I'm Jen. I've previously done reviews on DataQuest and DataCamp from the perspective of a data scientist. I still often get asked which tool I'd recommend though. So let's look at a quick breakdown of both applications, how they work, how much they cost, and which one might be the right choice for you. I'll link to the full reviews of both DataQuest and DataCamp in case you want to go check them out. When I went through those reviews, I spent my own money to sign up for both platforms and use them extensively over a period of time so that I had a solid understanding of how both platforms worked, how quickly they worked, what was working well, what wasn't, and nobody was paying me to do it. Those four reviews are quite long, so this Data Camp versus Data Quest video will stay much more high level and will focus on the languages covered by each, the cost, how the learning environment is set up and the general pros and cons of each of those options. Both DataQuest and DataCamp are online platforms for learning data science data analytics skills. This means that they do teach you how to code, but it's through the lens of using that knowledge to be able to perform analytics. So if you're looking for a platform that just generally teaches you how to code, neither of these are your best choice. In that case, I'd probably point you to Codecademy, which I've also reviewed in the past and we'll put a link to down in the description. Languages. DataQuest focus their courses and platform on R and Python. These are the two most popular data science languages right now, so it makes sense that that's where they're focused. DataCamp, on the other hand, focuses on R, Python, and SQL as well. SQL is very popular for use, and I often think of it as more of a supplement to a lot of other tools, though in some roles it is the only language that you'll be using. Both platforms offer supplemental training in other languages, but it's quite minimal compared to the offerings in their main languages, the R and Python for DataQuest, or R, Python, and SQL for DataCamp. In terms of curriculum, DataQuest offers hundreds of courses in addition to projects and practice. While you can take these courses in any order that you choose and as standalone courses, the real structure is around career paths, so stringing together many of these courses to try to build an overall skill set. DataCamp also offers hundreds of courses as well as projects and practice. Again, while you can take these individually, the focus is really around career and skill tracks that string multiple Multiple courses together. DataQuest and DataCamp are fairly similar in their overall curriculum structure. One of the main differences is the delivery method. In DataCamp, you'll get videos before each lesson, and then you'll go through exercises. On the other hand, DataQuest focuses on written lessons before you go into the exercises. So it really comes down to which way you prefer to have that information delivered. Once you've built some skills in DataCamp or DataQuest, you'll move into projects. These are usually very defined things that you can work on that let you test out your newfound skills with more of a real world type application. They tend to be fairly structured and lead you through things fairly well, so that's helpful when you're learning, but I'd recommend doing projects outside of this learning environment on your own time to really reinforce those skills without having such a, a leading process along the way. Again, useful for learning, not necessarily best as the only long-term way to practice what you're learning though. One of the reasons I really like these online platforms that help you learn to code is the instant feedback. With both DataQuest and DataCamp, once you go through the exercises, you're asked to submit pieces of code to verify answers to the practice work that you're doing. You get feedback right away and know if you put in an answer that's fully correct or if there are issues. And in both platforms, you can get hints that help you along the way, or if you really can't figure it out, you can get the solution right then and there so you can see how you were supposed to solve the problem. This is really helpful because you do have that support in place that is really vital, I think, for most people that are learning for the first time. There are plenty of people that learn without having this immediate feedback, but I think it can really help 
things work a little faster for you to pick up things a little better because if you run into an issue you're not sitting there for hours struggling with it you immediately can get feedback on it here's also where the other major difference comes in when I use DataQuest, I experienced a lot of lag in these exercises. That is, I'd submit code and I'd sit there for a few seconds, sometimes in excess of a minute, waiting to get a response back. That is not something that I experienced at all with DataCamp. Reading reviews, it seems like this is a fairly common problem for people to have with DataQuest. It doesn't sound terrible. I mean, a few seconds really isn't a big deal, but when you get into some of the more complex things and you're sitting there for minutes waiting for the results to come back, it gets really bothersome to wait for. And when you have another platform that is doing exactly the same thing in terms of what it teaches, I'm gonna opt for the fast platform. Not everyone experiences these lag issues, but I can't find anything consistently that would tell you in advance if you're gonna have the issue or you're not gonna have the issue. I ran dozens of different test scenarios trying to narrow down whether this issue was really truly DataQuest or whether it was something with my browser, the computer I was using, the time of day, what other applications might have been running. And it all came back to the only thing that was consistent was if I was running DataQuest, then I had the issue. I could run all of the same scenarios with DataCamp, even Codecademy, and didn't experience those same problems. Let's talk about cost. Both DataQuest and DataCamp have three different pricing levels that add on more options as the price goes up. There are free trial options for both, so I'd suggest trying them out if you're not sure and seeing how you like them. You won't be able to do a full course or rather like a full learning path in the free trial, but it's a good way for you to check out if you like how the system works. In terms of overall price to really get full access to DataCamp, it costs $3.99 per year paid annually. For full access to DataQuest, it'll cost you $49 a month or $3.99 a year paid annually. I find both of these platforms run periodic sales, though I seem to see more sales from DataCamp than I do for DataQuest. Both platforms offer similar level of support, with DataCamp having a Slack community and DataQuest using an online forum. Overall pros and cons. DataCamp pros. It immerses you into new skills, it's cost effective, it's a growing platform, they add new courses frequently, and it's a great starting point to learn data analytics and data science. Pros for DataQuest are they immerse you in new skills, just like DataCamp. It's cost effective, though it doesn't offer as much as DataCamp. And it's a good starting point to learn data analytics and data science skills. Now for the cons. DataCamp cons. There's not much time spent on theory and non-programming related data science skills are lacking. DataQuest also doesn't spend much time on theory and non-programming related data science skills are lacking. There's also processing speed issues for many users with high lag time that can be frustrating and there's fewer options than some of the other platforms like DataCamp. For that reason, when it comes down to DataCamp versus DataQuest, I choose DataCamp. I personally use DataCamp still to work on skills that I don't have a regular opportunity to work on and to work with languages that aren't ones that I typically am using in my day-to-day -day work. The somewhat frequent sales also usually make DataCamp cheaper than DataQuest. And since you're getting more and it runs faster, it's hard not to recommend DataCamp over DataQuest. If you wanna know more about either DataQuest or DataCamp, check out my full reviews of them. I'll link them down in the description. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week.